this division, this division is dead. Let me mute this. Uh, sitting here watching a UFC Fight Night Paris. Um, it's 5.38 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm T-Street Controversy with Fight View 360 and the Fight View 360 Boxing Podcast. Uh, basically, I cover boxing and I cover UFC. So let's jump into it. This 185-pound middleweight division needs a spark. And will that spark be Is he losing to Pereira? Because right now, he beat both of these guys, Robert Whitaker and uh, Marvin Vittori, twice. I covered both of them. Those videos are on the channel. And it looks like as long as Izzy is still in the, in the division, and we saw what happened with uh, uh, Bohovich, doesn't look like he's moving up um, to 205 anytime soon or if ever. So what does Robert Whitaker could do? By the way, it's going to be kind of controversial, but I did give um, round number one to uh, Marvin. Let's listen into the cards. Then we're going to talk a little bit more. See how the judges have it. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. My bad. 27, 30, 27, and 29, 28 for the winner by unanimous decision. Robert the Reaper Whitaker. So let's listen to what's next because it's like. Sorry to let all the Italian fans down. Excuse me, guys. It's really an adversary of a level. Excuse me. Even Cannonier. Maybe they can do that again. Yeah, that was an ugly fight. Bene a tutti, dal primo all'ultimo. Ho fatto un po' di casino anche se ho perso, dai. Okay, not gonna translate. I'm here with the winner. Robert the Reaper Whitaker, Robert, sensational performance. I mean, you proved tonight why you are still one of the very best middleweights on the planet. I'm assuming you're pretty happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, you dois être très content de ta performance, performance exceptionnelle. Tu as prouvé ce soir que tu es encore un des meilleurs middleweight au monde. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I'm stoked with it. It's uh, it was a. I all the respect to Vittori, that's why I had to push back the fight the first time because you needed the fitness to be able to hurt him the whole time. He did not go away. I was hurting him. Trust me, I hit pretty hard. I know I go to a lot of decisions, but I hit pretty hard and you know, credit to him. I can agree with that. Oui, particularly my félicitations aussi à Vettori parce qu'il est très difficile à battre. Il m'a frappé très dur dans le premier round, mais j'ai réussi à revenir et même moi j'ai réussi à mettre des coups assez durs, même si c'était pas ça semblait pas le cas tout de suite. With that performance here tonight, you clearly proved that outside of the champion, you are the next best middleweight on the planet. That's clear for everybody to see. So the question is, I guess, what or who do you want next? Avec cette performance, tu as prouvé que tu es le meilleur après le champion. Donc la question maintenant, c'est qu'est-ce qui se passe maintenant et contre qui tu veux combattre? Mate, including the champion, I'm the most dangerous man in the division. I make people, I make people hate fighting. I take the love out of it for them. I, um, as for who's next, I'm always gunning for that top spot. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be lurking there waiting. Non, c'est moi le l'homme le plus dangereux de la division, le champion intérimaire. Donc, euh, je veux, je veux ce combat et je veux que ça passe euh, bientôt. Robert, always an absolute honor and a pleasure, pleasure to call your fights. Maximum respect. You winner, ladies and gentlemen, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He's done it again. He's put a little bit more distance between himself and the rest of the pack. Yeah, you know, and, and that's what's weird about the division. You know, because it's like, I, right, you know, like something's going to have to give. Because do you really want to see him versus Cannon Air again? Now, I, now this, I was going to say I love him. <laughs> I love this dude. My bad, I was listening. I haven't muted here. But, but anyway, um, you know... It's a round robin. So who does he fight? I mean, because he, he is number one. He is the best in the division outside of the champion. The only thing I can say is what happens here. You see what I'm saying? That's the only. And when is that fight? Is it on the books yet? It is on the books. But when is it? When is it? My bad. Hold on. 
I forgot the date. I cover so much boxing and so many, you know, I forget dates. All right, get off my back. It's on the books. November the 12th, MSG. So, as I said, the question is, who does he fight next? Now, um, I did have it two rounds to one for um, Whitaker. I gave him rounds two and three. Round number one was close, um, in my opinion. You know, and I wasn't the only one to feel that way. You know, I guess phew, he was going. Oh, he never fought uh, uh, Paulo Costa. There you go. There you go. That's the way to go. Was that ever on the books? Can somebody let me know? Um, was that ever, it seemed like for, for some reason, I feel like that that was supposed to happen and it didn't. You know, that maybe one of the fighters got injured or something. I don't know. But overall, like I said, I'm interested to see um, um, which way they're going to go with Robert Whitaker next. And if Izzy's never going to move up, you know, is Whitaker going to move up to 205 or maybe slim back down to 170? I don't know. You know, 170 kind of got some shit going on with Usman getting knocked out. So it's a little lively down there with uh, Chameyev and uh, 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 Nate Diaz. It's a little lively down there. But I don't think he can do that weight cut. By the way, let me get my man get to my man um, to Ivasa, Mister Disgusting, drinking out of his shoe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. I'm in T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. See you guys later.